On October 29, 2024, the Polish Ministry of Defense announced the deployment of the Advanced Teledyne Gavia Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, AUV, during the Aegean SEAL 2024 exercise in the Aegean Sea. This exercise emphasizes various critical areas, including anti-submarine warfare, mine countermeasures, underwater surveillance, and reconnaissance operations. The integration of the Gavia AUV marks a significant advancement in the Polish Navy's operational capabilities. The Teledyne Gavia AUV is designed with a modular configuration, making it adaptable for a wide range of military, commercial, and scientific applications. Its construction allows for the quick integration of various payload modules, including sonar, cameras, and scientific instruments. This adaptability enables the AUV to perform essential tasks such as seabed mapping, environmental monitoring, mine countermeasures, MCM, and underwater search and recovery, SAR. In defense contexts, the Gavia enhances mine countermeasure operations and anti-submarine warfare ASW training. Its field-changeable modules permit configuration for diverse tasks, including underwater surveillance and rapid environmental assessments. The AUV's efficiency in gathering underwater data surpasses traditional surface vessels and remotely operated vehicles ROVs, making it a crucial asset for modern naval operations. The Polish armed forces are rapidly integrating unmanned systems to bolster their reconnaissance, strike, and counter UAV capabilities, reflecting contemporary defense demands. Among these advancements is the Bayraktar TB2, a combat-proven UAV from Turkey, which has been fully operational in Poland since 2024. Renowned for its roles in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance (ISR), as well as combat, the TB2 enhances Poland's reach and endurance in aerial missions. There are ongoing discussions about establishing a dedicated unmanned forces branch within the Polish military to centralize and manage UAV operations, highlighting the strategic importance of unmanned systems. Moreover, Poland has strengthened its strike capabilities with the domestically produced Warmate loitering munitions, particularly the Warmate 5.0. Developed by WB Group, this version is engineered to engage targets at extended ranges, addressing operational demands intensified by regional tensions. The Warmate family exemplifies Poland's commitment to cost-effective precision strike solutions through autonomous systems. In parallel with its offensive capabilities, the Polish armed forces have also deployed the SKYCTRL CUAS system, designed to counter aerial threats, including drones and drone swarms. This system, created by Advanced Protection Systems Incorporated, incorporates multi-sensor detection and advanced jamming capabilities offering a protective layer around critical assets such as the Patriot and Nehru air defense systems. Its AI power detection and classification capabilities enhance Poland's ability to secure its airspace, demonstrating a dual focus on both offensive and defensive unmanned technologies. Poland's advancements in unmanned systems, exemplified by the deployment of the Teledyne Gavia AUV, the Bayraktar TB2, Warmate loitering munitions, and the SKYCTRL CUAS system, illustrate a strategic shift towards integrating innovative technologies in military operations. These developments not only enhance Poland's defense capabilities, but also position the nation to effectively address emerging threats in an increasingly complex security environment. As Poland continues to invest in autonomous systems, it reinforces its commitment to maintaining a robust and adaptable military force.